guys, it's Amelia and welcome back to my channel. Today I have three guests. I have my sister Emily and also my friend Kiri and Kelsey. And <laughs> today we're going to be playing the newlywed game but the sister edition. So Kiri and Kelsey are sisters, Emily and I are sisters. So how we're going to calculate the points is if a question is asked and they both say the same person then they get a point as a team. If we both say the same person, we get a point as a team, and at the end, whoever answered the most questions the same doesn't win anything, but they win <laughs> the game. <laughs> it's it's bragging, bragging rights. They win bragging rights. <laughs> Which is very important. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's what we'll win. So, we wrote a list of questions. Where are the questions? I'm I have the questions. Oh, okay. Questions. Okay. <laughs> Question number one. Who would be the first to die in a zombie apocalypse? zombies and then they would eat her. No, they would <laughs> what? Actually, I think that would happen. Kiri would try to save all the people and then die. I'm gonna... She'd get infected. She'd get infected. It's in the line of duty. I would probably die trying to keep her alive. <laughs> this is true. Soon after. So I would be alive and inherit the earth. Dinosaurs eat man. Woman inherits the earth. <laughs> okay. Question number two, who is the tidiest? Okay. Yay! Wow, you're doing really good. So, to be fair, I do think I'm the cleanest, but I think you were the tidiest. I would agree. But, yeah, I would agree. I actually feel like I'm pretty clean, but I knew that you would say yourself, so then I said that. There is some strategy I, I in like this. Um, what would the other person put this in putting true. <laughs> Question number three, who is the best cook? <laughs> wow, we're actually doing really good. <laughs> now, to be fair, I think I'm better at baking, but Amy is I'm better at cooking. Oh, baking. Oh, so like there's we're a like difference exactly the here. Yeah. Yes. Kelsey's our baker, I am our cook. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> I make cookies almost every day. <laughs> Question four is who is the most likely to deal with a spider? <laughs> really? No! living with Adria and not you right now. Okay, yeah. And she won't deal with the spider, so I have to. Back so in the day, it would have been me. <laughs> the cancels are pulling ahead. <laughs> yes! Crazy. No! Okay, I thought uh, it would be me. It, this is a case, though, of I knew she would put herself on. Okay. Like, <laughs> Come outside. I let them live, and I, yeah. Yeah. I, I, do it, and I name them, but then my cats eat them, so. <laughs> yeah, I the thing. <laughs> Question number five. Who has the worst handwriting? <laughs> There's literally no question. <laughs> Okay. Wow. <laughs> Look at this though. Emily's handwriting is so pretty and on mine looks like a two year old. It's artsy <laughs> and cute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're both very humble. We both just know facts. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, I, I can't write. <laughs> I <laughs> hope this doesn't offend you. I feel like all the handwriting in your family looks identical. Carrie, I... Carrie and Kaylee have the same handwriting but okay. so much better than mine. And mom has completely different handwriting. Your mom has See, the handwriting it... of a 17... Hundreds founding fathers. <laughs> Who is the better driver? This is kind of a loaded question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a loaded question. I feel like we would both say we are. So I was like, if Carrie puts herself, I wouldn't put you too. Question number seven Who would win a game of Monopoly? I hate Monopoly. What? What? I Monopoly. I only played it because you played it. I only played it because the only other game we had was Life, and I hate that game even more. <laughs> I love Life. I put right. me just because I play it more than you. I still love you, even though we played this like, game. I feel like it's a game of chance in a very real like you mm. you cannot control Did what you, you land on. This is mm -hmm. why I didn't like yes, this game. Disclaimer: but... When we were kids, we had the kid version of Monopoly. We made up our own rules because honestly, yes. the first time I went to go play Monopoly with someone else. I had no idea what was happening yes. because I think we created our own monopoly I think we, game. I think we tried to so understand. We liked rules. that game. Well, I didn't even like that game. No, it's great. 
I think I've never actually played a real game of Monopoly. You never played Lord of the Rings Monopoly with us? No. I think I did. Future video idea. We will all play Monopoly. Oh, that's a good job. That's a good idea. Yeah. Can we play Lord of the Rings Monopoly? Yes. Amy plays is Monopoly. Is there any other version? version? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I only play Lord of the Rings Monopoly. Question eight. Who is most likely to listen to classical music? This is actually really hard because wait, 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 wait. What is class? Can you define what we're talking about in terms of classical music? You no, know, like, no, no, that, that, the question is classical music. Uh, I think oh it's gosh. me. Oh, Amy! I listen to opera all the time! I listen to classical piano music all the time. I think it's both of us, though. That's not a, a point. <laughs> it's fine. I don't know. Curia and I was like, are you going to say opera? Are I was considering that. Who is most likely to live in a big city? Oh my gosh. I don't like it. I have to think. I can't look. You should not have to think about this one. We put the same you should not have to think about this. <laughs> Question of how different the sisters are from each other, more than how they're far very we know different. Each other. They're getting all these questions. <laughs> That's right. what I'm saying. I think we have more similarities, and so it's hard. Oh, okay, I'll buy that. I don't know. That's good. You guys are not. <laughs> I would live in a big city. Okay, what I'm trying to say would. was, actually, I don't think either of us would live in a big city. Yeah, I would be. I would work in a big city, but I would yes. live not in the city. <laughs> the next question is. Oh my gosh, this next question is gonna be really hard. Okay, okay. The next question is, who is most likely to watch romantic movies? I did not think this is a hard question at all. The thing is, yes, though, so I, would, I knew you were gonna put that, but I would also watch a romantic movie. I guess a lot. what you'd call a romantic movie, because like I'm yeah. more likely to watch like Comedy. chick flicks, yeah, rom coms, rom coms. Yeah. Yes. But Carrie's gonna watch like Jane Austen like historical movies. Okay, yeah. so they, that are they're the same. There. I do not consider Jane Austen a romance writer. Who is more likely to give all of their money to charity? I'm um, thank you for putting yourself. No idea. <laughs> This was a we just had this discussion in our Okay, I'm right, going to... Oh, oh, no! Finally! <laughs> first one! <laughs> yes! I feel like we're both are. up against each other. Oh. I honestly think that we're both likely to give all of our money to charity. So I'm the only one who's not. I actually feel like we are both very giving people who would never give all of our money to charity. <laughs> Touche. Because no, if you give all of your money true. to charity, you're uh, not going to be able to make any more. This is true. Like, you can't live to make more and but give I, more to them. Yeah. So it's I, irrational. That was a dumb question. <laughs> I request we remove the question. No, we no, no, we are absolutely keeping that question in. <laughs> Who is the most likely to be a drama queen? Yeah. I actually don't know how true this is. I knew you oh. would say yourself. Thank you. Um, next question. Who is most likely to do weird things in public? To find weird things. <laughs> the longest to get ready in the morning. It's a struggle <laughs> when you have contacts. I roll out of bed. I'm ready That's to go. Right. I'm a night shift nurse. I <laughs> get up in the morning. <laughs> that is true. Okay, this next question is really wholesome. Wow. Who is most likely to kill someone accidentally? I have to think about this because that could happen to anyone. It's this an is accident. Going, this question is giving me nightmares already. Who is most likely to kill someone accidentally? Accidentally? I'm going to be super... Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I don't. I have an answer. Don't look. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna look. I this has to be. Yay! Yeah, because I think through all the possible things that could go wrong and prevent them from happening. So, so currently, the cancels have pulled ahead. We finished all of our name questions, but we yes. have a couple fill in the blank name questions, mm -hmm. just for fun. Okay. So the first yeah. question would be, what is? Curie's most annoying habit, you answer, was Emily's most annoying habit, Okay. we answer. Okay. okay. And we so they're going to write down what they think so our most annoying habit is, and then we have to verbalize what our most annoying habit is. Okay. 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 I have one for this. I don't feel like I have anything that's annoying, or else I wouldn't do it, so mm -hmm. I don't annoy myself. But I'm going to go with interrupting. Interrupting what? <laughs> I said leaving stuff on the floor when you walk in the door and you just leave your stuff out. Which doesn't like actually super annoy me, but I feel like you don't have that many annoying Aww, comments. Aw, Kiri's so. perfect. She's Aww. not annoying. She's <laughs> so nice. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. Everybody has an annoying habit. I don't know how much about myself that most annoys me and that I think most annoys Amy 
is that <laughs> I can't make decisions be about people, especially because I'm stressed. So like if we're trying to go somewhere, this is not the answer you wrote down. Okay, here's what Emily's most annoying habit is. After Emily eats her food, she folds up her napkin, she pats her face with her napkin, she folds in half, folds in half, until it gets really, really I don't small. Really, do that anymore. really small, and then she just dab, I don't dab, do dab. It's really annoying. Why doesn't everyone fold their napkin? I've never seen you like, do that. But what? We all fail. There are reasons behind yeah. this. These okay. are hard. These, these are, are really hard. I feel like the sisters who get these correct, you get like five points or something. Okay. Oh, that's oh, a good that's idea. That's that's idea. Idea. That's that way we can that. win. Let's do that. Let's right. give us a fighting so, chance. Next question about Kelsey and Amy okay. is if they could only have one food, what would it be? This is too easy though. Oh no. Um, oh no, it's right. I love oh, food! I know exactly so what I would write say. You write it down. I don't okay. write anything. I am hundred percent sure I got this right and I'm very excited. I think I have an answer. I <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we ready? <laughs> are we ready to present the question? <laughs> All right, Amy, what is it? Potatoes. That's right, that's what I wrote. Oh, okay. Potato everything. Oh, totally anything right that's a potato. <laughs> I knew you'd get it. Yes. I, I started to say asparagus, because I love asparagus, and it's full of greens. And then I was like, wait, I need more than greens in my life. So I decided to go with tacos, because tacos are pretty nutritious. You get meat, because you need protein. You get lots of vegetables, and you need vegetables. And you also got the, the taco shell, whatever it's called. Yeah. Tortilla. What, shell? Tortilla, yes. Yeah. The tortilla. Which gives you a little bit of carbiness, and it has cheese, and I love cheese. So I decided to put cheese. Tacos. Cheese is what I So the next question is, what is your biggest fear? And we're going to do it twice so that we get to talk about what everybody's afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what your biggest fear is. I'm between I don't two think... things. Oh, really? I You're... know what it is. What's Emily's biggest fear? They're funny. Oh my gosh, give me a second. Guys, talk amongst yourselves. Guys, I, know, I have now changed my answer. This will be easier for you to get. Because it's another big fear. <laughs> okay, I don't know what your biggest fear is, but I'm going to say something That's and I'm going to turn through my biggest fear. You should. Uh, you're like emailing them like once a week. No. What is Kiri's biggest fear, guys? I'm going to go with heights. Oh, what did you go there? I wrote down heights. I was like, no, it's birds. She oh. crossed out the heights. <laughs> did you get it's, that it's literally here. I just crossed it out. And then I was, so I was like, good. no, birds freak you out way more. I hate birds. I loathe birds. <laughs> what is Emily's biggest fear? This is so mean. So this is hilarious because I actually did the same thing as you. I said heights. Oh, yeah. And I crossed out something else before this. Partly because it was going a, with heights, though. I'm what going with heights. I wrote <laughs> talking to random boys. <laughs> This is a fear. <laughs> that's actually I am, true, though. I am I getting really over this fear. To boys. She, I, that's I think a lot I'm better with that since this. she moved, though. Yeah, I think I just thought that this. might have been what you put. All right. Part of She's me. like, it's only insecure things. Oh, I have wow. a story. One time, we went to a Civil War battlefield, and there was a like block, like castle tower looking block building that you could go up to overlook the battlefield. This sounds familiar. Block. It really does. Like, very sturdy, secure. And we climb up to the top, and we're leaning over, and, and I'm like, oh, Carrie, look at that. So she's like, I can't lean over. <laughs> and I'm like, you're literally standing on a rock. Very secure. Not swinging in the wind. Very secure tower. But she couldn't stand next to the edge. This says to me that this fear is not for things that are not steady. Okay, but I have something to add to that because a fear of heights means that when there is no restraint, you are actually in danger. No, there were your there body were will not respond. There were little dips in between, and if you're clumsy, which I can be sometimes, when you are and it was heights, not high clumsy. enough, had I tripped, I would have just gone right over. <laughs> Let so. me share a story. <laughs> My story will beat this story. <laughs> me, Emily, and Adria were all hiking at a nearby lovely hiking spot that shall remain nameless. <laughs> and we, there was this beautiful like chunk of land that was here and then the regular land was here and then there was like the rocks did this. Okay, so see this distance? This was the distance, that was the distance. between land number one and rock number two. And Adria hops over. Amy <laughs> hops over. Emily sinks to the ground and says, I can't do it! I can't cross over a beautiful! And I got to my point. I could not say cross that And Adria and I were like, Wait, I've experienced what this when I was like before the We were like, it's just a, like, I a had foot. to be mentally prepared. <laughs> she had to, we, she had to climb down and climb up, and then the way back, she walked over like it was nothing. <laughs> because I was mentally prepared. It's all mind game. My mind was not there. Yeah. It was honestly very was embarrassing. Funny. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Now it's me and Kelsey's turn. Okay, what's I already I already wrote down what's your, what's your Oh, I already think oh well, I was telling a story. 
This is a stupid fear, but it is something that I, I'm scared of. I have a preface to go with this answer. <laughs> I don't know if this is right at all, but I know this is something you really dislike. So. Okay. I'm scared of a shark attack. But the preface is I have actually swam with sharks and that was great and I loved it, but I'm still scared of a shark attack. Is that what you wrote down? This is not what I wrote Dang down. Dang it! No. Here's what I wrote down. I'm not sure this even applies to you. I'm scared. I said Amy is scared of being embarrassed in front of others, so she oh. never lets herself be embarrassed I'll because it would make her very upset to be so. I'm scared of sharks. Alright. Honestly, yes. Okay, are you ready? Yep. I'm scared I'm of commitment. Creatures. Okay, so I said you were fear of being stuck. And not being able to make changes. Mm, that I feel like it's the same thing. Well, I think we learned a little bit about each other. We did during this game, which was fun. Thanks for doing this, guys. Yeah, this is so it great. Really fun. Maybe next time we can do it with the third sister in each group because yes. there's three of us. So that'll be really fun. Are we gonna announce the winners? Um, I think they won. Let's say, Pretty sure um, they won. So we good job. Won. So good job, guys. <laughs> you guys did very well. We tried. Just not well enough. I mean, <laughs> they were a little I still nicer love you. to each other than we were. <laughs> we were very honest. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us just make fun of each other and <laughs> also just learn new things about each other and have a good time. It was really fun. I will see you back next Wednesday. Bye. Bye. Do one thing the rest of your life, I really think you would actually choose smoothies. Oh yeah, brilliant because oh, good choice. because smoothies. you can do whatever you want with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I knew you wouldn't go there. Like I know you well enough. <laughs> Toning up smoothies would be what you would live on. But it's true. Yeah, protein, mm -hmm. collagen, greens, blueberry, blueberries. Okay, we're good. I had so much <clears throat> trouble getting the word blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> <I love> blue <laughs> oh, okay, <clears throat> I like that. You should totally put that. <laughs> Come out. <laughs> Alright, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Ah, okay, no, no. Oh, I thought I was just gonna start talking. Oh, okay. On three or after three? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, and then everyone make a noise. Okay, okay. ready? One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> that probably like, blew up that. We should tune to each other. I love it when Okay. Okay. Ready, guys? Yes. Okay. We're all pretty low maintenance. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I really think so. So, yeah.